For those who are on fire for God and living all out for Jesus, there are great rewards coming to them in the next few years and throughout eternity. The Bible clearly explains the blessings of God that are coming upon those who are sold out for Jesus in these end times. They will see promotion in every area of their life. They will see vindication, prosperity, great blessing in their homes. They will see God's favor being poured out in every area of their lives. God will prosper them to finance the gospel in these last days. God will finance the gospel through the on fire servants of God. God will prosper them to finance the gospel in this last great revival. To those who ignore God, to those who give God the cold shoulder, to those who are indifferent, they don't care about God's requirements, they live for themselves, to those who walk away from the truth, which they know is the Word of God. 2 Timothy 2.25 says, they should gently teach those who oppose the truth. Perhaps God will change those people's hearts and they will believe the truth. Then they will come to their senses and escape from the devil's trap for they have been told, for they have been held captive by the devil to do his, to do whatever he wants. These fallen away Christians will experience depression, confusion, and they will struggle in their own strength to make it in these end times. Even if they do prosper a little, it won't be for long. It'll be like the 30 pieces of silver. Please remember this, the next few years of grace that God has given us is equivalent to the time before the flood, before the day of Noah, we are supposed to be preparing in these times for the challenges that lie ahead. This is our time of preparation to get ready for the judgment and it's our time to be the ark of Noah to the dying world. With God's blessing on us, positioning us, equipping us, we'll be able to reach out a helping hand to the lost and bring them into the ark, into salvation. Just like Joseph was given seven years to gather food before the drought and the famine came, so God is giving us a time of grace to get our lives in order, both spiritually and financially, to prepare for the days of judgment that are just on the horizon. Spiritually, this is a time for us to focus on the harvest of lost souls. It's a time for us to focus on the purpose of God for our lives. Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present, and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.